Let's create some record navigation now. And we're going to go back to our invoicing solution, the locked invoicing solution we showed at the very beginning of these tutorials, because we're going to show you how to copy and paste buttons. And there's some rules about how things work. And it's better to understand that, because you already understand how to assign it. And we'll pick apart what that button does to see what we did. But it's not very complicated, and we don't need to go through how to assign a button 15,000 times for you to get it. So we're going to go to the Window menu, Change to Invoice. And again, you'll find this in your work files, but you won't be able to get in layout mode like I will be able to. Because again, this is locked. Now, we're going to copy these buttons right here, these navigation buttons. You can get these buttons from the work files, not in the invoice solution, but inside the start and end folders. You'll see these in the end folder of this chapter. And you can copy them to your solution if you want these graphics, or you can just create the buttons from scratch using the button tool. There's no reason why you need these graphics at this point. So I'm going to go ahead and select these buttons, which navigate from record to record. And I'm going to shift click on this calculation, which we'll go over later in between them, so I don't select it. And then we'll copy. Then we'll switch over to our contacts, get into layout mode, and paste. And then we'll move in somewhere where it's going to work out well, maybe right around there. That looks pretty good. And let's go back into browse mode. And you can see right away that they work without any modification. That's because they're a single step. Go to record previous, go to record next. If you have a single script step assigned to your button, you can copy and paste it from one solution to another, which makes it really nice so you don't have to keep recreating these buttons. You can just copy and paste this whole navigation system. And we're getting closer and closer to getting rid of this status toolbar to save yourself some more real estate. So there's one other thing we have to change, though. If you select these buttons and then show the inspector, you notice that they have an option in here, Auto Sizing. They're auto sized to connect to the right and top. The default is to connect over to the left and top. If you don't do that, then what's going to happen is they're going to stick to the right side and always stay this far away from the right side when you resize that window. We don't want that to happen right now. I want them to be the same as they are. And when you copy them from the end work file, you won't have that problem. But I want to point that out that I'm doing this to these. And you won't have to worry about them until we start talking about auto sizing, which will come later. It's a more complicated feature. But any new object you make will have this setting. That's what I'm setting it to. That's all we need to do. And we're set. And we can go ahead and navigate from record to record. In the next section, what we're going to do is show you exactly what all the details on these buttons are.